I'm delighted today to be joined by Hubertus von Rohner, Vice President of our Global Industry Practices team, and Bob Skeiner, CEO and co-founder of Regent Corporation. Our two organizations have just signed an extremely exciting deal to bring Regent's technology to BT's network capabilities. And we're here today to have a discussion about what that means to our organizations and to our customers. So Bob. Yes, sir. What are the operational challenges that our industrial customers are facing? And how does this combination of BT and Regent address that? Well, customers such as mining companies, oil and gas companies, uh, chemical companies, have tremendous need for reliable communications uh, in very remote and often difficult environments. And uh, our specialty and expertise is, is making communications at the edge in those uh, factory situations, mining situations, making it reliable. But then the challenge becomes how do you get it from a remote far-flung place uh, back to a data center somewhere where information can be worked on. And that's where you guys come in. You have uh, world-class reputation for making things like that happen. So our goal here is to combine our industrial communication skills at, at the edge of networks far out there in the world with your ability to have reliable communications anywhere in the world. So your technology is called kinetic mesh networks. Right. What's a kinetic mesh? Mesh networks are networks of wireless radios where many radios connect to many radios. And that's kind of... Uh, what standard mesh networking is known as. Uh, what we do and what makes it kinetic is that all elements of our network can move. So the way to think about it is the, is the cell phone network. Uh, we all have mobile devices and mobile devices move and they roam from one tower to the next, but the towers are static. In a kinetic mesh network, we have edge devices that roam, but the towers themselves in effect move. So all elements of the network are in motion all the time. That allows networks to maintain connectivity despite the topography, trees, mountains, buildings, things that are in the way, the network can move around them and maintain connectivity. So we're used to wireless networks in our everyday activities. This building is covered by a multitude of wireless networks. What makes the capability that Regent has different to those standard wireless network capabilities? Well, in the places where we operate, uh, in deserts, in mountains, in, in remote mines, there's not a lot of uh, normal network infrastructure, nor are there lots of network support personnel roaming around. And so a network has to be reliable and it has to be reliable in such a way where you really don't need too many people to service it. Uh, and uh, that's really one of the big differences we have. We've eliminated most uh, single points of failure that exist in, in networks. Uh, your average network will have a control room somewhere and a controller device. So we've eliminated that. We use multiple frequencies uh, so that if one frequency fails, another frequency is available to continue the maintenance of traffic. The nodes themselves actually are, have a little bit of artificial <coughs> intelligence. They're very smart. They learn where things want to go, and uh, they work to keep networks up. We've had networks in mines up for eight and nine years with no network downtime in that mining example. Can you give us some examples of, of how it's used and what the benefits are to the mining operations? Sure. Um, traditionally, uh, you know, mines use really large equipment, 200 ton, 300 ton, 400 ton, haul trucks, giant shovels, and they all have uh, hundreds of condition monitoring points on the vehicles. But traditionally, those, those sensor points could only be accessed when a vehicle either had a failure and was dragged into a repair bay, uh, or when it just went in for normal maintenance. But once you put in a, a kinetic mesh network, all the vehicles in a mine are connected to their condition monitoring software 24-7. So in the, in the one mine I'm talking about, the, uh, Kine the uh, Kennecott Copper Mine uh, out in Salt Lake City, it's actually a 5,000 foot deep mine. It's a mile deep, but it's an open cut mine. In that mine, prior to installing our network, 25 haul trucks 
on average per day would be in the repair depot out of about 200 vehicles. So 10% of the fleet would be out of production and be in the repair depot being worked on. Once a network was established, once a kinetic mesh network allowed continuous connectivity, the number of vehicles in the repair depot dropped from 25 per day to nine per day. So it's as if the mine picked up 16 extra vehicles just for the cost of the network. And each vehicle is about two and a half million dollars. So that's a great example from mining. And I assume this technology is applicable to other industries. It is. For instance, we have uh, customers in the oil and gas industry. We have a very large oil and gas field uh, in southwest Texas that has, it covers maybe 100 square miles and has three or 400 different wells. Uh, traditionally, the owner of the, of the oil field had to send a team of pickup truck drivers personally and individually to each well during the day to grab SCADA information about the performance of different equipment uh, on the well. And so as you can imagine, that takes a lot of people, a lot of time, and the information is not real time. It's a day old or two days old by the time it finds its way back to headquarters. So once you put a kinetic mesh network in, all the information at the wellhead becomes available all the time in real time. Moving, if we may, to the impact this has for our customers, what's the significance of our agreement to our, our customers around the world? Well, I think we have just heard a typical example of the explosion of data um, uh, in the mines and also in the oil environment. So our customers are facing this big challenge at the moment. How do I handle this big data that's being produced, in particular in the operational environment? Yeah. And then also what type of data, how do I transfer it back to headquarters and analyze it? The combination of our global infrastructure, of our BT Connect portfolio, and your technology actually gives us an end-to-end -end solution to capture and then to transport this data. So the mining company can decide, can already monitor in the mine from headquarters, and can decide what data to transport in a safe environment. So we, ex in, in fact, we're extending our existing network infrastructure into the operational environment and that end-to-end -end secure and safe and reliable. I think that's an excellent platform for growth between our two organizations and I look forward to us doing business together. Thank you.